Hi everyone. Thanks for coming in for a video today. Why is that brooch there? Did I sell that? <laughs> I don't remember. But I hope the stream is good today, guys. We're finally up with a little bit better weather around here. And lots of good jewelry to show you, I'm sure. Lots of good prices on them anyway, as far as... I shouldn't say good. I should probably say pretty pennies. Pretty pennies, because the one we're going to open is actually an $89 jar. It's not the one I found recently when I showed a video. And I hope you guys have been watching my videos, even those that don't entail jewelry, because as you may or may not know, I don't always announce my giveaways. I do have a giveaway today to share with you guys. And um, regardless of naysayers and... Um, People that complain about giveaways and people complain about everything. That's just life, right? But welcome everyone who's here. I appreciate it. Becky's here. Barbara. Hi, Doug. Check your email when you have a free moment. I will, Doug. Thank you so much. Let me see what you wrote me. I haven't, I haven't checked my email for the fourth time. I think I checked it about three or four times earlier. Probably the Thelma Hordes. So I don't think I've checked that one. I've been checking my school email so much with um, the last days of school upon us and kids oh my gosh guys taking away the chromebooks from these kids was like traumatic i don't know what they had saved on there but i went through so much i literally had one kid storm out throw it wow talk about middle school drama yeah but that's that's neither here nor there i'm trying to greet a couple of people in the chat angela how are you Hi, this and that. How are you? I The reason I say that you guys need to watch some of the other videos, I try to make them a little short and everything because jewelry is not all that I'm about. I never started this channel about jewelry. I started doing jewelry because people liked the way I did it when I would thrift it. They really wanted to see jewelry, so I started doing jewelry and um, jewelry jars, and I've given credit where credit's due. The first one I ever saw do a jewelry jar was Texas Gal Treasures. And I've loved what she would find. Oh my gosh, she would find crazy, crazy things. Beautiful treasures. So um, I followed suit and started. And we both share the same city for a while. She now lives closer to Austin. But so then I just started going a little bit towards the jewelry. But I love thrifting. I love what's in my bag. I love handbags. I love finding treasure everywhere. If that's your jam, if that's what you like to do, please be sure and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications as well. And again, I do like to do giveaways. So if you guys noticed, and maybe you didn't notice because nobody else answered the question, in my first and my video about uh, what's in my bag, my recent one. So I'm going to let you guys open another tab, go look at it again. But the question was, what did I forget to show? And I will give you till the end of this little excursion we do here to answer that question because no one else got it right. All right, and let me see if I can open this one. And the winner will get a jewelry bag, jewelry jar, so to speak. You'll just get a lot of good jewelry, guys. A lot of wearable, sellable, wonderful jewelry, if that's what you like, like to get. They pack these so tight. I'm so afraid of breaking something, cutting something in half. It's crazy. And I still don't like how close I am, but this lighting set up and everything is so messed up right now i need to i think i need a bigger table i think that's the problem i think i just need a bigger table i think i need to sell more jewelry okay i did get this one because i saw some fake turquoise and there's nothing wrong with some good fake turquoise all right better than fake people i'll tell you that much all right, here we go. I think I got a nice slice out of it. And I think I can dump some stuff out of it. Uh, let me see who else popped in today. Angela, how are you? Karen, I think I said hello to Karen. Kimberly. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, we're just going to prop it right there. Okay. Yeah, and then I think I saw real turquoise in here, too. This looks like Chinese turquoise. 
And this one looks like reconstituted turquoise. They threw everything in this one. And it's not bad. It's not real silver, but it's not bad. I'm going to have to take a good look at that turquoise. It is not bad. I don't know if I'm crazy about that pendant, but I don't mind a nice chunky necklace like that. Can you guys see that? Let me pull you back a tad. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up too, guys. It really helps the channel. So I appreciate that. And oh gosh, I'm still cleaning up from my auction last Saturday. So there is stuff everywhere. Oh, look at this one. That one's probably broken, but wow. I have to cut another slice right here, guys. I think we're going to run into some tangles. I really think we are. $90 was what I paid on this one. Okay, here's the fake. Yeah, that's cute. It's like a halide. This looks like a Lucky brand, too. I don't know why. I think it looks like a... Uh, yeah. No, it's a Premier Design. Well, that's a good brand. What is that noise? I just told them I was going live, and they decided to run the disposal and everything. That is really cute. Yeah, I think that... Um, I, actually, that feels a little bit more like acrylic to look like... <laughs> to look like how I like to look like turquoise there you go it's a pretty necklace though I like it oh thank you Andy you're so sweet you are so sweet yeah there are definitely trolls lots of trolling going on this is one of those um, giveaways, like from the magazines. I think it's Style and Company. I think it's from the Style Magazine or something. And it's kind of worn out, so I'll probably put that in a crafter lot. All right, so did you guys go and figure it out? You have till the end of the show. I can't believe no one even saw what I was talking about. All right, this is your standard statement. Really big statement here. Heavy, too. Nice color, though. Hola, Sandra. ¿Cómo estás? Placer que estés aquí. That is very pretty. I like the, this. This turquoise is cool right here. It is definitely reconstituted. I don't have to even take a very good look at it to see it, but it's so pretty. And I have a friend who is a Native American subscriber as well. And I will very likely send this to her because she makes amazing things with it. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Yeah, it's a strand of beads here. Very nice. Can you guys see it? Look at that. I'll bring it closer in a minute. I don't know why I'm sitting so strange today. Excuse me while I move a little closer here. Okay. And try to get this out without damaging it further or losing those beads here or there. Okay, here it is. And if I don't say your name right away, guys, I'm just trying to get through the jewelry. This is cute. I don't know what it is, but I like anything with a lot of charms. That always gets my attention. <laughs> no trivia. No. Well, actually, it is trivia because remember my What's in My Bag video? No one read the description box. No one read the description box except one person. And so, therefore, I have no winner yet. So I'm giving you to the end of the show. Look at that fabulous reconstituted turquoise. I love it. And Miss E, that is yours. Oh, my gosh. That's an interesting watch. It's worse for wear for sure. But I don't think I've ever seen a cross watch. Have you? Has anybody ever seen a cross watch? I never have. Yeah, nobody even read the description box, and that's where the where the giveaway question was. And like I said, I don't announce my giveaways. I really like people to watch all the videos I throw up there because, as I said before, it's not just about jewelry. 
Oh, I didn't show you the rings. I'm wearing my wonderfully beautiful 14 karat gold Alexandrite amazingly sculptural ring. I love the way that sits. I'm wearing a copper wrap, a sterling wrap, my Tiffany & Company 18 karat gold diamond and ruby ring that I've had for so long I can't even remember. Oh my goodness, is this rose? I'm on a glass table. That is acrylic, but it looks like rose quartz. It's really pretty. I really like the colors on that. See, I'm trying not to have everything so close to me because everything makes noise. Hi, Shirley. Thank you, Shirley. Hi, Miss Cynthia. Thanks for being here. These are so nice. These are acrylic and they're still fun. They're still fun to play with. I like those. Okay. So yeah, you can open another tab. You can go read the description box of my What's in My Bag video. What is this? Lion heads. A thin little belt like from the 70s. Look at that. And they're marked. Is that Anne Klein? I believe it is. Yeah, it's Anne Klein. That is so cute. I need to get me one of those markers that... Uh, Touch up your gold tone stuff. Or just do what Brody does. Miss Brody does spray paint. She fixes up her jewelry with spray paint. <laughs> and she knows she knows how to do it. Okay, wow, I don't know where to start because I don't want to pull out to ooh, this is pretty. I don't want to pull out all the tangles. Oh, that's part of a big necklace here. Look at that. And don't answer, guys, if you figure it out. By the time we finish, don't answer till I tell you to at the end of the video, okay? So that way I can keep track of who answered first. <laughs> and you'll win a, a bag of jewelry. And hopefully you'll love it. Oh, this is so cute. I think it's maybe, no, it's got, it's got, oh, one of those two jump ring things. Okay, so it goes this way. And then look, I think you can wear it long. And uh, this is like interchangeable jewelry. Guys, this is like so back now. I've been looking at some high-end designers like that do trunk shows and things like at Neiman's. And they've, they're coming out with jewelry that is like multifunctional. Where you can turn it into a brooch, kind of like some of the vintage pieces were. You can turn them into brooches, two bracelets, long necklaces short short uh, choker it's really really an interesting thing and they're saying well you know where you are paying ten thousand dollars for this thing we want you to get some wear out of it makes sense to me what is this chico's of course look what chico's did with abalone is that a bit no it's a necklace oh, this is cool no i think it's a belt look at that Oh, that's cute. That is like, um, that's genuine abalone, I can tell. Then they put some kind of an epoxy over it. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, the subscription is on your right, and it's always free. Hey, Joyce, how are you? Thanks for being here. Hi, Maria. I did show them in the very beginning. I did. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. And Shirley, I don't know if I said hello to Shirley or Kelly. And Miss Lynn, thanks for being here. Liz as well. As Lois, Lois and Lynn, their sisters are super cool. Love them so much. And I think I said hello to this and that, Miss Kathleen. I'm glad you're here. This is a really cool belt, guys. It is from Chico's. Gosh, I need to skip dinner. I had a small dinner today. I need to skip dinner because I want to wear a belt. I don't care. Oh, I love it. That is nice. That would probably fit. Since it's like adjustable, one size fits. Maybe Thelma. Maybe Thelma it'll fit. Maybe not. Uh, okay, this is somebody's name. Little kids on a shoestring here. That's cute. Love kids' crafty stuff. And this is definitely worse for wear on this one. What a shame. But it's a nice concept. I really like the tassels. 
I I think I will pull those off. I'm going to put this in Robert's to-do list basket over there. And I should put this on a little display so you can take a better look at it. Because it's hard to see in front of all that jewelry. But look how cute that is. You need to... <laughs> well, it's not in the comments. It's in the description box. The question is in the description box. Guys, I can't believe no one guessed a, a trivia, not a trivia. Well, I guess it could have been a trivia, but it was a kind of a, a game that I put on my what's in my bag video. This is darling and very good condition. And I asked a simple question and no one even read the question, but one person. And if nobody gets it tonight, I'm going to have to give it to that one person <laughs> because this is insane. She's the only one that read it and she guessed like a million things. Oh, that's a very nice necklace. That is really heavy. I like that chain, and it's a nice color of gold tone. We're not going to... We're Actually, save your guesses for the end of the show, okay? Save your guesses for the end of the, the jewelry unboxing right now so that I can read them all at one time. All right, this is nice. This looks like uh, possibly sterling. No, it looks like something's missing. And it's silver tone bracelet. Craft your piece there. Ah, look at that. Nice. I think we found a few things that are worth some money. That's a nice one. Look at those big old stones. This one looks like a imitation hematite or something. And then big rhinestones. So luckily there's no marcasites to babysit. Ah, oh, that's cool. I like that. That's a very nice one. Love these little geckos or whatever they're called. Lizards. Cool beans. Alright, what is this? Oh, this one's pretty too. It's heavy too. It's like a little drop of... It's gunmetal and then it's like a crystal. What in the world? I heard something fall. My daughter's always moving things upstairs. Can you hear that? And it sounds like the roof is caving in. That's a nice chain on there too. I love it. The question is in a video that I did and no one answered it. No one even bothered to read the question but one person. And it was in the video I just did. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> Where did I get that? I got that expression from some co-workers and it just stuck. I don't know why. It's so outdated, I'm sure, but I say it all the time. That and awesome possum I got from a mother of a one of my students. That's a charming Charlie. It's cute. Really cute. Okay, you read it. Now you have to know it, but don't answer it yet. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. These, you know, I had some Miriam Haskell modern day, kind of, I think they were like from the 80s. And they had, the earrings were this kind of a bead. They were so cool. Does anybody know about these beads? They kind of feel chalky, but kind of rubbery, but they're not rubbery. This is amazing. It also looks like a Betsy Johnson style. Oh my gosh, it even makes a melodic sound. And then there's some art glass here. I can't wait to show you my book haul too, guys. Stay tuned for that because I've been learning so much about even like some of these beads that are glass beads and they're considered trade beads. And you wouldn't even think of them as Native American, but some of them were like this like glass and just amazing things because they traded with many, many cultures. So, wow, oh, I'm loving this. This is so cute. It looks like one may be missing. Look, this is even like a little crystal cone. I am so surprised. It looks like one thing may have shatter, shattered there or broken off. But how cool is this necklace? I'm so surprised there's no maker mark on that. That is too cool. Too cool. So don't answer the question. No, this is a Goodwill bag, $89. We still have some Maria jewelry, though, so stay tuned. 
And another subscriber sent me a wonderful gift. I can't wait to open it, but I really want to do a face-to-face -face on that one because she sent me some amazing handbags too. This is worse for wear, going into a crafter, not even a watch lock because that one's pretty worn out. This is a cute watch. I'm not sure what that brand is, but it looks like a nice watch and it's leather. It was your rings. No, no, I don't. And again, I answered in the in the someone that uh, took guesses. I only show my rings for unjarrings. I don't show them for, you know, when we're at a what's in my bag or ride along or anything. I like this earring, guys. This is super long. I hope we get the other one. That is awesome and very lightweight. And don't guess yet until I tell you to at the end of the video today, okay? We'll be finishing in a minute. Because I'll only count the ones that I do at the end of the video. This is cool. Oh my goodness, this one's broken. Pretty watch. That'll make a nice crafter piece too for the steampunk crafts. American Eagle. It's such a pretty watch. <laughs> Miss Vintage jewelry. Thanks for being here, Miss Vintage Jewelry Galore. I am uh, going to mention it a couple of times. I did a video. It was what's in my bag. No one read the description box except one person. So you have to open a tab and go read the description box. And it was my latest one. I don't know how this goes on, guys, but it's so cute. It's like a stretch, and a, I think it slides through there or something. It's a nice bracelet. I like the colors in that, kind of pearly. These are crystal beads. So I like that. <laughs> Cheryl, when did you guess? Because I said don't guess now until I finish the video today, okay? And um, like I said, no one even read the description box in that video. Here's a pretty one. This is Genuine Howlite. How's that? I'm going to have to remove this fabric, though, because it looks a little sullied. I don't know. I almost want to take it completely apart. I like this necklace by itself. Maybe pull all this out. Maybe pull the rope out. That might help. Okay, so let's continue to look at the jewelry. And see what we find. Oh, another kid necklace. A couple of them. Cute. I love, no, Little Sister, it says. This one's so cute with the little candies. That's a really nice one. Hi, Emily, how are you? All right, we're going to keep going. Yeah, I was going to title uh, this video, I Can't Even Give Jewelry Away, but um, it was too much in the title already. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the kids' lot, too. I think it's cute for a child. And then this is the one that popped out of there. Stretch, cute. And more children's jewelry. Peace sign on that one too. Checking to see if that's not sterling. Sometimes they are. All right, ooh, this is cute too. This is a stretch, very nice. Still working pretty well on that stretch. Here's a cute ring. Looks like gold tone. Let me check though. I know I brought a loop over here a minute ago. It's, I was probably buried it with all this stuff. Here it is. Let me check. Hi, C. Roth. How is Baton Rouge today? Yeah, this is uh, just a gold tone. It's signed with uh, some kind of symbol FW or something. It's very pretty, though, and it's in good condition. So that's nice. Kind of a sapphire-colored stone there. And Oh, that's a pretty earring. It's a very nice earring. More single earrings. We'll put these aside. This is a big earring. 
Oh no, it's not that big. There it is. It's kind of a double hoop. It is, it is hot, sweltering hot here in Texas. Here in Houston, it is so hot. 90, I think we reached 92 today. The car was probably 102 when I hopped in it this afternoon. This is darling, look at this. That's a crystal. Those are glass. That's pretty. Kind of brutalist. Gunmetal color. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and try to empty it at once. Here are some strands of beads that are broken. So there are definitely some. Well, these are sold like this. This is actually quartz. Made in Hong Kong. Interesting. That's a nice little chip strand there. I'll put that in a bead lot. I'll put that over here. Here's some more broken pieces for a bead lot. So these are all, actually some of these I think are sold this way and they look like they're vintage. They're $1.50 is their price tag. So, oh my gosh, and some of them are loose, so I'm going to try to gather them all together in a bag and put those in a bead lot before everything gets really messy. Here's a nice little rhinestone bracelet. That's really pretty. I like that. Here's another bracelet. This one's leather and brass and crosses. Kind of bent on this one. This is going into a crafter lot. Oh, I can't tell what that says, but it almost looks like a religious symbol as well. And it feels like some kind of a natural stone on that carved stone there. We have, uh, what does this one say? Get your shine on. I agree, I agree. It's got a star. That will go into a crafter lot as well. 100 people are here? Gosh, thank you guys. Be sure and hit the thumbs up. If you just walked in the door, don't forget to do it now. But please don't forget to do it if you leave. No, 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 Barb, you're not reading. <laughs> but thank you for being here. And don't guess until the end of this video. We've got some Unikite here. I love this little bra bracelet. This is pretty. Unikite and I think bumblebee jasper and some heishi beads and this is a nice little nice little trinket. I love that. That is pretty. Here's another nice bangle. Yeah, at the end of this video, we're going to take our guesses and um, see who wins. Okay, this is I was going to say lapis, but I don't think so. I think they're just some kind of some kind of ceramic bead. They were six dollars. Wow. Lots of crafty beads in here. Another one here. These are the ones that were marked a dollar fifty. Here's a little stretchy thing, a little coil bracelet. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Here's a cool brooch. I think there's a stone missing, though. What a shame. It was a double circle. So that's going in a crafter. And, oh, this is nice. This is a nice gold chain. I know it's just uh, it's a nice clasp and everything. It's probably vintage super heavy wow talk about a heavy s chain very well made look at that that's like double it's like two chains welded together there soldered together there and it just has a copyright symbol it looks like and it says monet no wonder <laughs> no wonder it's so nicely made 
The only wear I see is on that tag. The chain would fool many. It looks like 14 karat gold. It's really beautiful. Look at that. That is really nice. Some faux pearls, beadlot. More fabulous charms here. Some cloisonne style. This one actually, I thought it was silver, but it looks like a copper base. And we have some other pearl. We have a nice one here. Some chains. This almost looks like someone crafted it. It looks very nice. Very well thought out. Look at the heart as well. That's really pretty. What kind? You got to describe what kind. Read the description box, guys, but don't guess until I finish this video. Look at this earring. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like a Kendra. It is marked, but let me see what it says, and let's hope we get the other one. It is. It's a Kendra Scott. Wow, she signs her stuff in the most unusual places. You have to hunt for it. There it is, Kendra. There it is, Scott. Gosh, I hope we get the other one. And here are some more. And these look like Kendra as well. And this one is matched. Yeah, these are, I've had these in so many stones. And she does use semi-precious stones. So that's nice. I don't see them. Sometimes they're on the hook. Sometimes they're on the rim. You have to hunt for it, I swear. I have to really look on this one. But they're not, I've had imitation, not with Kendra Scott's name on them, but just with, you know, people that copy, companies that copy, and they're never, okay, here we go. Yeah, these are Kendra. Awesome. That paid for the, ba for the bag right there. It's an $89 bag. There it is, Kendra Scott. Awesome. Now, if we find the other one, we are... We are really, really lucky. What is this? Look at that. This is some kind of an agate. That is cool. Wow. I think this is some kind of an interesting agate for sure. It's actually signed. It looks like a scratch signature there. It looks like it says 94. Can you see that? I'll have to test it for sterling. It says 94, and it has the initials EZ. That is so cool. I don't know if I'd have to. Oh, look, it'll slip right on. That's a nice one, too. Sorry, guys. <laughs> really close. That's a nice one, too. That's nice that it'll slip on like that. Let me know what you know about this stone. Very, very interesting. Very much a natural stone. We've got some evil eye or good luck eye. What did I say they called it? In one of the catalogs, they called it evil eye. And then they called it the, the, the good eye or something like that. That is for a, a small child. And there's the Hansa eye too. Hand and eye. That's cool. Oh my goodness. There's some good stuff in here, guys. I'm excited. This is a necklace. Interesting. Needs a cleaning. Looks like it's brass and silver tone and a real pearl and howlite. Let me see what the findings say, if anything. But that's cool. That's definitely a real pearl. Looks ceramic. On the, the big chunky bracelet. I don't know. Look how it's got red over here. and It looks like some kind of an agate to me. It's too sculptural to be. And look how they built. This was hand done. This was signed 1994 and the initials. 
I really think that's some kind of a jasper or a pitcher agate or whatever it is. It's a pitcher jasper, pitcher agate, whatever. Here's a little hair clip. We always get those in the jars too. My goodness, I'm super excited about these. It's some kind of token. It's got a female on it. Female face anyway. That's a rock, right? Carrie, I agree. First Holy Communion. And I love that, that necklace. It didn't say um, sterling on the findings or anywhere on here. So I'm assuming this is probably a copper silver plate and then the brass. Oh, look at this. Now, if this is a Kendra, I'm going to be really, really happy. Because <laughs> Kendra does bracelets like this, too. Look at this bar. It's in great condition, too. Because, yeah, we've definitely seen the Kendra. Oh, I love this smooth drawstring. I like playing with this. That is so pretty. I'm not going to put it on. I don't see anything on it right now. I think Kendra marks this bracelet style on the on the drawstring or the tassels. I don't know. So I'm telling you, you have to hunt for her mark. I don't see a mark on it. It's really beautiful, though. Serpentine chain on a simple bar. Gold tone. Lovely. That's a nice piece. Those two bracelets alone paid for this bag, guys. I'm not kidding. Oh, this is a nice earring, too. This is Premier Designs. It is enameled, but looks a little bit like a mother of pearl or something. And we've got, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Support my rack. <laughs> Breast cancer awareness. That is so cool. That's a nice one. And it's a bottle cap. Kind of on a torque there. Support my rack, it says. A bracelet. And this is real leather. No mark on it. Just a simple bracelet. Very nice. Let me pull you back a little bit more. A Christmas tree? Pinback brooch? That's interesting. Doesn't look like it's vintage. Probably put that in a crafter lot. Looks a little worn out. And this is, I think, a J. Crew. Well, it's a J. Crew style hook for sure. Lots of chains and that kind of thing on this one. Multicolored, multi style chains on that. Hold on, let me take a drink real quick. These lights are hot. You looked at the jewelry at the counter, looked about the store, and was upset that the prices of the kids' books were too pricey, and ended up buying a jewelry bag. I watched it, and thumbs up the entertainment. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. I I was talking about, if, if you're thinking about the trivia, this is Sterling. I've seen these in many, many bags. I hope I find the other one. I was talking about, if you're talking about the giveaway, it's in my What's in My Bag video. It's the video right before the ride-along or thrifting with me video and you need to read the description box but don't answer the question until I finish this jewelry unjarring okay nobody answered it nobody even read the question you guys need to read the, the description boxes this is premier designs too I don't know what it is it's just a chain oh it's a sideways cross with rhinestones that's what that one is it's Premier Designs. It looks like it's a copper base. It looks very coppery. And we have a worn out, somewhat worn out chain here, a herringbone. That's going in a crafter lot. Pretty worn out there. Somebody might be able to clean it. And again, the spray paint. It works. Okay. I will, Miss Carrie, I promise. I'm going to do it before the end of the week. I've had an awful, awful week. Not awful. It's just been stressful. Uh, unfortunately, my co-worker and our department of our, the head of our department lost her mother 
yesterday. And um, so we're kind of covering her classes. This is really interesting. And, the, and she has the really challenging class. So um, it's been challenging. <laughs> this is really nice. It's got like, I was going to say just enameled tips, but these are like little dollops of a turquoise embellishment. And it's really nice. And it's brass. This is a heavy brass. This is a Premier Designs, I believe. Let me double check that. So I will do it very likely Friday night or Saturday. Well, I have to have my auction on Saturday, so it'll probably be Friday night. All right, I promise. I know I've been promising it, but I will. I will do it. I will do it. No matter how late, so stay up late. <laughs> well, for you, it's early. This is nice. I don't know what it is, but it feels really organic. I don't think it's ivory or anything. But it feels like a very organic element here. Nice feel to it. Okay. Here's another. I think this was a style that the company must have donated to the Goodwill here. Because I think I even ran, some of the, ran into this in another bag. Look at this one. Again, the rosary linked beads with the gold. But this one doesn't look like real brass. It almost looks like just a brass tone. Can't quite tell. And then there's two crosses on the side on this one. And then a nice long chain. Those are pretty, though. I like them. And I do like your suggestion for the topic. So it's going to be a long topic, believe me. It's been a long time coming, and so many things on my mind, including that video today with the kids' books for that video that went up today. That really upsets me. I, I, I'm, used to, I'm used to seeing kids' books for a quarter, you know, sometimes five for a dollar at thrift stores. This is Leah Sophia. Honestly, sometimes I used to see them for five for a dollar. At one particular one, I think it was Family Thrift, they do them really cheap. And to see a tiny little book, used book, for two dollars, oh my gosh, that was incredible. This is a very nice Leah in a very pretty gold color, in that blonde gold or beige gold, some call it. A stretch, pearls. So that is definitely coming. Okay. Keep an eye out for these little ropey bracelets and uh, jewelry designs. They're doing interesting designs, and some of these are high-end designers. One of my subscribers alerted me to one I pulled out last year, and I still haven't sold it because I forgot the name of it, <laughs> but I looked it up immediately, and it was like a $200 bracelet, and it was made something like this, but it had a whole bunch of silver bars interesting and then now i have to rethink about that i forgot and i usually take screenshots when they tell me so i don't lose the video okay these are a lot of loose beads over there this is a nice toggle one look at that bracelet that's heavy and beautiful peridot colored rondelles i like that a lot All right, then we have another organic looking element. I think this is just shell and it looks vintage. It has a barrel clasp. Sometimes I think those are pretty much vintage style. You can let me know otherwise. It looked really good condition though. It looks like it's in good condition. All right, we did match these enameled ones up. So that's nice. I like when the earrings get matched up. More kid jewelry. And yet another one with this style. This one says Faith. This one is very worn out. So I'm going to put that in a crafter lot. That's a nice piece to put in a crafter lot. I'm going to get ready to give away some crafter lots pretty soon too. Um, I have like a laundry bin below me where I put the crafter pieces. And when it gets full... 
I either sell them really cheap or last time I gave them away for the price of shipping alone. So stay tuned for that as well. This is a really nice pendant. Don't care for the, what do you call this, this ribbon, but I do like that pendant. That's pretty. Okay, here it is. Yes. The other Kendra. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we just tripled. We just tripled the price of this bag. These Kendra Scott earrings, what do they sell for? Last I priced retail, anything Kendra is nowhere lower than 80. Look at this. This actually has like a sliver, a little sliver of abalone encased in glass. Can you see that? Abalone Mother of Pearl. More like abalone because I do see a lot of colors in there. These are gorgeous. And they're in great condition. Yeah, so two pair of Kendra. Yeah, we just tripled the, uh, the amount we paid, which was $89 for this bag. Not to mention that beautiful necklace with all those beautiful beads. I get this jar I have to remember we have so many goodwills and uh, I don't know if you saw my my thumbnail but that was just a corner of my room so I've been hoarding them this is cute kind of lightweight acrylic very nice though exactly Miss Lois and it, the, it pains me so much to hear a child ask for a book and mom say no and you know, I know mom's got to buy clothing instead or the groceries or whatever, you know. I know when they ask for them at my garage sales, when I have them, I give them away. <laughs> I just have a basket full of magazines and books for giveaway. And with my, with my collections at school, too, I always beg the kids, please take a book. <laughs> this is Disney. kind of. It is an Alex and Ani, but it's Disney. And it's in the gold tone. Nice. For the Disney fan. So, yeah, and then our library gave a, had a whole table full of books today to give away as well. With some interesting ones for sure. If they're not taken by the end of the year, I'm going to grab them and save them to give away at my garage sale. Or keep some in my room. This is pretty. It says Faith. It's long. It's in great condition. It has real crystal beads and halite beads. Really nice colors on that. And that has a nice drop. Very pretty. These are cool, cool earrings as well. Is that, if this is another Kendra, oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, it's missing the thing though. I bet Kendra can fix it though. Looks like it's missing the tassel. Isn't this the one that has the tassel, the fancy twirling tassel? It is so pretty though. Yeah, this is Kendra as well. Maybe the tassel's in there or in another bag. You never know. It was a Kendra bag. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, look at this pretty necklace. This has been a great bag, I'm sorry. It really has. I wish I could remember which Goodwill I got it from. This looks like a Kendra, too. It looks so fancy. I don't know, though. And it's kind of tangled in this one. Okay, you guys who like to watch me tang untangle, today's the night. Oh, gosh. There we go. And this is pretty. This thing with the beads is pretty too. I'm impressed with that too. No, this one doesn't say Kendra anywhere, but it's made so nice. So nicely. It really is. Here's the, here's the maker on it. It is a Premier. Premier Designs. 
Everyone's so quiet in the chat. Are y'all studying the other video? <gasps> oh my goodness. How long is this necklace? These chains don't end. <laughs> wow. Okay, move away. Oh my gosh, there's an orange one too. That's what it is. Is it all part of this one too? Okay, we're going to undo this one. Maybe that'll help. My nail chipped right when I was putting my camera on the stand. I did my nails yesterday just to do a close-up video. And then I put my phone on the stand and it chipped the paint right off. Nail polish right off. Horrible. Okay, is this a hook too? Oh my gosh. Here it comes, here it comes. There's like two of them. Are y'all still there? Tell me your favorite color. <laughs> Let me know you're still there. Oh my gosh. I think I'm giving up. I think it's all part of it. Oh my goodness. Now here's another hook. How many hooks does this thing have? It's got a lobster claw, a jump ring, everything all in one necklace. Oh my God. And I love this, this necklace or whatever it is. Maybe it's a bracelet. I know you guys want me to get the scissors, right? Who wants me to get the scissors? I'm not going to get the scissors. <laughs> Robert, come help me. <laughs> Don't we miss when Liz used to do that? She just handed to Carlos. Is Carlos still untangled for you, Liz? Liz probably already went to sleep. <laughs> Bored. Oh my goodness. I know, I know, I need I need tools. <laughs> See, Lois wants the scissors. Lois, I can't. These are so pretty. I would if it was ribbon or a fish wire or something. I would have already gotten the scissors. Believe me. There. Oh my goodness. I got one out. All right, so it is two necklaces. There we go. We got a blue one, and it's really pretty. And then there's the orange one in there. So now we know it's a necklace. I'm not going to untangle it out of there. It's bigger, though. Look at that. Okay, and then we have this. And that's pretty, too. Robert, untangle this for me and bring it back by the end of the show. Right here. It's only two pieces. He's just looking at me like I'm crazy. All right. More earrings. Some kind of ring. I'm talking to you. Come get wow, it. Look right here. It's just two necklaces in here. Yeah. I need to find a Kendra Scott tassel. See if you can untangle that because we have one blue one and I think it's an orange one in there. Okay. Thank you. After I... After I wasted like 20 minutes doing it. Well, I did take one out. Oh, look at these chains. Those are pretty. I haven't seen any of your post. Oh, you're not talking to me. <laughs> All right, here is a interesting cobra. Cobra? No, omega. But it looks like it's gold tone. But it looks like it's sterling. Does it look gold tone to you or did it just does it just need cleaning? I can't quite tell. It is an omega, it's really thin. It may have been a gold tone one. It is 925, it is marked, but I swear it looks gold tone. I think it just needs a cleaning. So that's nice. Sterling silver. No, you can't send liquor anywhere. You can't send, you have to send it um, FedEx or something. 
Yeah, I found that out too. I was going to send a bottle to uh, to Dwayne one time at Dwayne's auctions. And they wouldn't let me. So we sent him a knife instead. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty. Look, this, this is one of those cord necklaces. How pretty. Look at that. And that's in gunmetal. I love these because you can just drape them, you know, like your National Honor Society cords. I know all of y'all are in National Honor Society. We had our inductees today, and one of them was my student. I was so proud of her. I almost cried. I think we did. <laughs> oh, there goes the alarm. Or you can put it like a necklace and then drape the, the little tassels. Those are well made, too. Oh, that's Okay. It was tough, wasn't it? Thank you, honey. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's some kind of charm necklace. Y'all got the gist anyway. There it is there. I like that big glass one. It looks like a perfume bottle or something. That's really pretty. And then this one is the same as the blue one. I guess these really look pretty together. Thank you. And that's this one. It's enameled, orange, and beautiful. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I will tell you this, makeup zombie. Robert doesn't drink. Robert is a teetotaler. Does not drink. He leaves that up to me. Yeah. But the thought is amazing, and you can't imagine how grateful I am. You're always sending me gifts. You're very kind. Thank you. You're sweet. That is pretty. Look at this one. This is um, Howlite as well. Real Howlite. Dyed Howlite. It's cold. And blue and silver. And this is really nice. And this one has a... This one's Chico's or Claire's? I think this one's Chico's. Let me double check. It is. That's a nice Chico's. And this one can be very easily made into like two strands double it up easily that's pretty that's really in good condition too this was a great jar so far i'm really liking this earring too but gosh i fell in love with all those kendras where no tassel no tassel for the kendra this is worn is this a mickey mouse I think it's a Disney souvenir as well. That's so cute. It probably had a charm hanging there as well. That's going in the crafter. We've got some nice bangles there. We've got a statement piece here. Kind of a small one. Very pretty as well. And... All those loose beads. Is this two Chico's? Oh my gosh, we've got the same one. Look at that. This one's tangled up. That is really nice. Because that's a nice necklace. Yeah. No, this one's short. And this one's long. That is nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, we have two Chico's, a long one and a like five strands on the other. That is really pretty. Nice highlight piece there. And what else is in here? Some of these paper, I know they have a specific term for these beads, but I forgot. And they're like rolled up and glued strips of paper. Lots of people make those too from scratch. And this is a chain that's broken. It's a nice chain though. You may have to put a clasp on that. It's very heavy. And some glass. Okay. Yeah, I told the lady that was in the what's in my bag video, that she was the only one that read the description box, 
and I she must have guessed like three times so she stopped guessing because she didn't get it this is very pretty I love these beads but um, I think it was Cindy Urban if I'm not mistaken there's another strand so I told her I'll announce it when I do a live video and that's today <clears throat> and I'm gonna check your answers in a minute but it was in my what's in my bag what's in my bag video I neglected to show you something that was in my purse and you can clearly see it this is the beads here are some more this is nice I think there's some wear on it though so I'll put that on a crafter lot and then it was really a nice thing that was in there so I was like uh oh can't believe I didn't show you that this is pretty it's a nice pendant gold so um, I think this is pretty much the end of the road here with the jar this is a C it is Bella Ryan I think looks like a C or an E I can't quite tell kind of an Alex and Annie style lots of loose beads and crystals and things and we did match up lots of earrings these were matched up as well bracelet was amazing all of those Kendra Scott earrings and one broken necklace here I'm gonna see how much Kendra would charge to fix that so I know they have excellent customer service they'll send sell you one earring if you lose one here's a pendant here and uh, find out about that because those are worth saving those are pretty but that was a great jar for $89 okay so no one guessed it guess I'm super late Kimberly how are you I'm glad you're here it was the small plastic bag inside your Louie. Uh, go ahead and start guessing now. M Makeup Zombie has guessed one. Wallet was another. And where do we send the answers? Right here. Right here, right now. <laughs> right here, right now. Yeah, and Lisa. Hi, Lisa Lemons. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Boston Bruins. Oh, my goodness. Amy, I'm glad you showed up. Thanks so much. And I, I, I think I'm only going to get one guess. <laughs> a few people guessed earlier, but I told you guys to wait till I finished. Made some guesses before I finished my video. And, oh, you don't have anything to apologize, Miss Lavender. <laughs> Miss Lavender Pearl Vintage? No, not at all. Don't worry about it. We, we're not that hard-nosed hard here. Not at all. I appreciate you being here and we're now we're doing the guessing okay and it was I told you to go look on my what's in my bag video because I had neglected to show you something and I wanted you to be specific and zombie already got your guess already got your guess one guess and where do you send the answers just right here so we're gonna go ahead and and see who won <laughs> cleaning <laughs> you didn't get the scissors right it was really pretty Carlos still untangles all right well I don't see anybody else guessing Hi, Tammy. The boo piece of, piece of paper with the hypocrites. I showed it. I read it. <laughs> and that was really, that's interesting because that's a quip that my, I mean, he just says it. And I'm like, that's a good quip. I have to write that one down. My coworker. So he's always coming up with the funniest things. Sunglasses? No, I didn't have any sunglasses. Keys, makeup compact. I showed my little make my little mirror, but I didn't have a makeup compact. So no, I'm going to go ahead and, and um, put in stop. I'll give you a couple more seconds. Your face, well that's true, Lois. <laughs> I was actually filming with my phone and, and Miss Urban had guessed that. And, and I told her I was filming with my phone, so no, I wasn't going to show that. Don't show my jewelry. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to honestly 
it was it was what was in my Louie. It was this plastic bag, and you can clearly see it in 1033 of the video. The, the time was 1033. And I neglected to show you my ring that was in this plastic bag that I need to take in to get repaired because I think I got a little, I got it, I, I kind of bumped into a, um, into a table and I feel like it's crooked. So I'm gonna have to take it to a jeweler and it's my beautiful emerald and diamond. 70s piece and it is in there for repair and you can clearly see that it popped out of my Louie and and then I was like how come I didn't show that then I went back to look at the video and indeed Miss Zombie you have won the giveaway <laughs> yeah and as she said it way back here as far as I can see she said it was the plastic container that I dropped out of my Louie, and that's pretty specific. Yeah. And I don't see any other guesses before. Still have it just looking at me. <laughs> yeah, right after she was talking about the liquor she couldn't send, we lose like, we Leos like to party, right? <laughs> So thanks everyone. Can we congratulate Miss Liz? She's the one who said it was indeed that plastic bag. And I, I have to send something to Cindy Urban too. Cindy, if you are listening, I'm going to send you a bag of jewelry as well. Because boy, did you guess your heart out. And you were the only one that read the description box. So congratulations to Cindy Urban if you can send me your your address. So I can send you a bag of jewelry as well. And I will send you one as well, Miss Liz. Thank you all who participated. Thanks for watching the videos. Again, I never announce my giveaways. So look for little things like that uh, in my videos. I Or when I do a live, sometimes just randomly, I will, you know, say some trivia question like, what did I ask Robert to bring me from the kitchen or something, okay? But you'll never see a big banner saying giveaway. So Cindy, I hope you get to watch this video. And uh, please email, email me as well. Because boy, did you guess your heart out. And again, she deserves a prize just for reading the description box. Don't you think, guys? Thanks again, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much. Have a wonderful Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I have to go do my shipping, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, everyone who popped in. Love y'all. Bye.